see how many points I've got. About the points. Yes, well, about the points. Like, how how different is it from geocaching? Well, it's easier than geocaching because they don't actually hide them very well. <laughs> <laughs> so, with geocaching, you hide a like physical container, whether it's a um, ammo can or Tupperware, or those little itty bitty tube things that have um, a paper log in it and you uh, sign it with your name. Well, Munzee's, you just take your phone app, um, I believe it's only done with like a smartphone, and if you see those little QR codes, it's like a little square black and white code. You scan that with the app and it gives you points. And um, today we have to go to Springfield in order to get a 25,000 point day. And then we're in a clan. It's basically based off of the points. You have to get so many points to reach level one, level two, all the way up to level five. And depending on which level you reach, um, you can get free onesies to deploy yourself. But this month we're going to try for level three and the challenge is to capture elemental mystery onesies and those are like wind, fire, ice, earth. We don't have a whole lot of those in Joplin so we're definitely going to try to get as many of those as we can in Springfield because Springfield has a lot more muncies than Joplin does. Social muncies. So basically, they're virtual. You go on social media and people uh, basically post their QR code on like Facebook. You don't get points for these, but... No, you don't get points. But you do but, get achievements. But they so. do have achievements. You can create your own social muncies. They're very helpful whenever you're trying to do like a streak and you can't like get out for the day. You can just go online and find a social Munzee to capture. Um, they have destination Munzees. They're like like the airport, the zoo, colleges. There's a few different types of those. Rovers, I don't see a whole lot of rovers. They're basically like a little like in geocaching, like the trackable items, but you can you can capture them and put them in your little kennel, um, virtual kennel on the app. But you have to to redeploy them. I think I have a rover, but I'm not exactly sure what to do with him yet. And then they have events. You can go to um, events, kind of like geocaching events. But in order to log the event, you just scan the event code. And it's, it's kind of like signing the geocache event log, but you're just scanning the QR code for it. Yeah, and we went to a couple of events. Yeah, we went to uh, Munster's Mash in, uh, in Springfield, and we actually got to meet Matt from Munzee HQ. He uh, came out and did a couple of games and handed out a bunch of 
something like that and it, it's not compatible. So if you want to be active with um, Unsfit, you have to have a Fitbit, I believe. So in Springfield, they have these Munzee Gardens. Um, they basically, um, where people put a bunch of virtual Munzees and they make them look like a unique shape. Like there's a gumball machine across, there's um, a pink skull, oh and the boo from Mario. We're going to be going to this park that has so many virtual Munzees, you don't even have to get out of your car to even get these. Which is perfect because it is like uh, 22 degrees outside. So yeah, we're just gonna sit in the car and get a bunch of virtuals and be like lazy bums. We'll eventually go find a couple geocaches later. Pro most likely park and grabs. I don't feel like walking a whole lot in this. The wind is like terrible. It's like 20 miles an hour wind. I I, I would rather not be uh, rude off today. So we're here at um, Battlefield Park. Basically parked in front of the city hall. There's nobody here because it's on a Saturday. We're just going to sit in the parking lot and get as many virtual lenses as we can. Look at them all! Sheila's already started um, catching some. Where are we at? There's the blue dot. And the little red check marks are what I've already gotten. Yeah, she already got all of these, and these little ones right here, they're flat Robs. Rob is one of the guys that works at um, HQ, and whenever Rob is out of the office, we get to catch all of these little Rob Munzees. This is basically all of the virtuals in this area. It will take a little bit of time to capture them all. Show, show them how you, how you capture them. You just click on click one. On one. And then push the button. And it says, While Rob is away, Flat Rob comes out to play. You captured Flat Rob worth 55 points. Woo. Flat Rob is going to get us to 25K. And here's carrot seeds. Oh my gosh, there's carrot seeds. Look. I got it. You scanned a carrot seed. Later on, like in the month, it'll be like a carrot. It'll actually grow to be a carrot. Yeah. Like it'll be like a carrot stalk or some plant, mm -hmm. and then the next month it'll be a carrot. They have like three evolutions. This. And then they have diamonds, diamond. that are worth, let's see, 18 points. They're, As a sapphire, like I think it's a random number. But then you have different colored ones, like this that one. Not that one. No, not that one. It's hard to. Click hard to one. see. That one's it's a, a rainbow. rainbow. Or 40, 40 points. points. That one, I can't remember what it's called. It's a mystery. Oh, it's a mystery. So it could be a diamond. That one said a full motel. Uh, motels, um, you can um, basically, if you're one of the, the first, like, ten people to capture it, it gives you a hotel room, and then you can actually get points off of people capturing your hotel room. This one's a virtual resort. Those, um, I believe, have 15 rooms in them. Yep. It says no vacancy. Well, my phone stopped recording, and it's going to record again. Okay, so so that one was worth 90 points. Um, are there any other different different ones? I think they're mainly Flat Rob and the um, Mystery Virtuals. Here's some peas. Oh, Same as peas. Same as carrots. They're uh, um, the evolution end. munzees. It'll turn into a pea plant and then an actual peas. Yep. All right, we're gonna sit here for a while, capture them, and we'll see how many points we have afterwards. So I think we've got all the ones that we can get from this spot. Um, that one you have to be 150 feet away from. Most like, of them, you most can of them, be you can be 300 within feet 300 feet. So we're going to have to move down the parking lot so we can get the rest of these. Okay, so we're going to go find this physical Munzee. It's the uh, one of the fire elemental mystery Munzees that we need for the clan challenge. 
It's 162 feet this way, so let's go. Oh, that's pretty The black corner fence. This is a black fence. Is it on this side of the wooden fence or on the other side? How many feet does it say? Sixty-nine. Are you sure it's not the other side? Yeah, it's definitely the other side. It's definitely the other side. Okay, now we gotta go around the other way. Aha! I see it. Do you see it? Yes. It's the orange thing. This is a physical fire elemental onesie. Okay, Sheila, capture it. You have now captured a fire mystery onesie worth 20 points. Now find and extinguish the lighted fires, but be careful. We may get burned, Sheila. Okay, we may get burned. Look at the, the map and see if there's any in the... Well, there's one right there. Oh, down there. I see it. 788 feet. Oh gosh. <laughs> These are tree tags. And this one was turned into a fire onesie by the other fire onesie. So, let's see what happens. You extinguished the fire and earned 50 points. Yay! I didn't get burned. Yes! <laughs> If you get burned, you lose points. Yeah, but there's also achievements for getting burned, though. Oh, that's true. Like, why would you even want to get burned? Right? I think the next one is over here. It's a battlefield lights. This is a light. I don't see anything on here. Up and under the box? It. All right, Sheila. See if you can extinguish the fire. Oh wait, maybe I should try extinguishing. The fire. Yeah, maybe it's your turn. I couldn't show you guys that I extinguished the fire because I'm technically using my phone to video record, and I kind of have to use my app to capture the munsies. So, just letting you know that I extinguished the fire and I did get burned. I got 50 points. This is a really pretty park though. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, water fountain is still going. Half of the water is kind of frozen. There's a really pretty weeping willow that you can't really see. Because it's kind of dead. <laughs> All of the branches are Weeping, I guess you could say. So, just from getting all of the virtuals in this park, um, my Z app tells me that I have just a little over 6,000 points so far, which means we have 19,000 points left to go to get our 25k day. We just stopped to take a bathroom break and I noticed that there was a geocache nearby and we are at Godfather's Pizza in Battlefield and it's a pretty easy park and grab. Sheila figured out the hint, said limit please and there's a speed limit sign here. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be extra small. I wonder if it's missing. There's nothing down at the base. Who's down in September. Found in September. Nothing up there, I don't think. There's quite a bit of traffic. I don't know how we're supposed to be uh, discreet. I'm not finding it. Well, I don't see it either. 
We think this one might be missing, according to the hint. It was hasn't been found since September, I think. But since there's a lot of muggle traffic, I think we'll just skip this one and move on to the next area. So the cell phone Munsey Garden is here at the First Baptist Church. We're just in this parking lot. There's a little playground there. Lots of parking, so we probably won't have to get out of the car very much. Oh gosh, there's a person. It's a good thing we came on a Saturday because the Sugar Skull um, Munsey Garden is basically in the parking lot of one of the schools here. Walking around the school trail to get the rest of the Munzees. Can't really reach them from the car. Sheila's way back there. I can't even see her. Oh, there she is. Well, my nose is frozen and my glasses are fogged up. But I found all of the Sugar Skull Munzees. Sheila's still out getting some because her phone is a little more slower than mine. She's got one of those knockoff androids. I've got an iPhone, so my processor works a little bit faster than hers. Since I checked my Z app um, after the Sugar Skull Munzee art, um, I am now at 23,000 points. Just 2,000 more to go and I get my 25k souvenir. So what's the hint? Ouch. Is it in that tree? You think? Probably. It's probably in that tree. I don't like that tree. Me either. But we're going for it. I have gloves with me just in case. Definitely pokey. Oh man. It's just a simple park and grab, but uh, huh, huh, huh. do we see it? No. Obviously, it's not that simple. I see it. Oh, she does see it. Oh, gosh. Wow, look at that. We found it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, is it tied on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, pen sesame! <sighs> I have the pen. See how to the camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where do we sign? There's a... Blank space. Blank space. Like Taylor Swift. <laughs> This makes day number 13 for 2018. In co consecutive finds. Or consecutive days. That's that's what I meant. Um, was it like right here? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Woo! Even though our first geocache was a flop, we still came out with at least one. Yay! You wanna go find some more? I guess so. 
We found a park that had two geocaches in it. Um, this one that we're going to is called Battlefield Stump, and I think I might see a stump from here. It's supposed to be a medium-sized container, so I brought some swag with me just in case. Is this it? What? Someone took it! There's nothing here. Why? This has got to be the place. That's there's, like, it's literally, it's literally, there's no way. Is there anything on the bottom? Uh, no. no, there's nothing on the bottom. This one has been muggled. No. This other one is about 300 feet on the other side of the park and it's freezing. Where did you find that at? Right here. Oh. I wonder if this isn't the tunnel away from the other one. Oh, I don't think so. I was thinking sure? it was that that uh birdhouse there. Right here. But look. Open it. This is what? What does it say? No, we need Log, the, not the log, but the house. Use some wire to keep it from running off. Right. So I feel like that's from the other one. I don't know. This one says GC41E09 replacement log. What is this one? 41ED9. Okay, so this is the right one. I okay. just need to sign my name on it. The other one is definitely muggled because the spot we found it is barren. I have swag we can put in it at least. I was trying to find a place to, um, let's see, we got Scooby-Doo and a little Mommy guy. So fit. She was! <laughs> you dropped it! <laughs> and a little keychain. Who's that Marley guy? He's an Indian. Here. I'm moving that square. Whatever. I know where to put it now because it's just laying here. Well, just put it where you found it. I'm putting it like, like behind. Here. Okay. So we're here at Graceway Church and we just need 2k more points to get to 25k. There are a crap ton of prize wheel munsies and they're completely random as far as how many points you get but sometimes they'll drop little things like um, the last one we got was a uh, Five Z cred that you can use towards Z ops, and that's a whole nother video. Um, I can't even like explain it to you right now. But we're going to get these prize wheels, see if we can get any more Z cred, or see if they have any other surprises that they'll drop. And um, after we get all of these flat mats and flat robs, we will most likely have 2K before we are done. I'm getting. Line. It's a lion cub! What'd you get? Ten points. And, and a diamond! diamond. Holy Ooh. crap, Sheila, you got a diamond! Did you get it? No. Let's see how many points I've got. Look at that little 25k day. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Fantastic. So out of the eight or nine prize wheels that we found, Sheila got a diamond and a sapphire. And you know what I got? Nothing. You got points. Well, I got points, but that doesn't mean I got a prize. Still points. 
All right, I think it's time to go and find something to eat and then head back to Joplin. Joplin. Yay! Yay! And we did what we said we were going to do. We got 25K. a geocache and 25k munsies. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up. And push the subscribe button. Subscribe. Check us out next time. <laughs>